Hey guys, it's Landon with Redefined Horizons and On Point Workshops. And I'm going to take some time this afternoon to record uh, a couple videos on Trimble Business Center. Some of my Trimble Business Center videos are getting a little old. So like my Inkscape videos, it's probably time for an update. Uh, we also have two or three uh, survey techs. Uh, here at RH that uh, are starting to learn TBC. So I thought it'd be a good idea to, to update some of my videos. Uh, so what I want to do in this video is just briefly walk you through the user interface of Trimble Business Center. It's going to be a short video. I have an example project pulled up on the screen. Before I, I walk you through the user interface and uh, the parts that I think are important, let me just briefly explain how we use Trimble Business Center here here at Redefined Horizons, because I think that, that'll that'll be important for you to, to understand the videos and to, and to use, uh, use them properly. So uh, Trimble Business Center does uh, an amazing amount of things. Um, in fact, it's one of those programs that probably has way too much in it. Um, I would happily pay for about 10% of the overall functionality for a fraction of the price. So I probably overpay for Trimble Business Center. It is not inexpensive. But it's excellent software, and um, I, I really don't know of another software that's like it. Um, there, you know, you have Leica Geomatics Office, which I believe is similar, and which I've never used, and Topcon Tools, which I've played around with a little bit. They do similar things. Uh, but I've been using Trimble Business Center for almost 20, 20 years before, before uh, it was Trimble Business Center. It was called Trimble Geomatics Office. And so I grew, I grew up as a land surveyor in a Trimble shop. And so this is what I learned to use. So it's a really powerful tool. You have to know how to use this if you're a field surveyor, surveyor uh, at my company. And uh, we're even trying to trying to get some of our CAD techs and survey technicians to get comfortable getting into a, a TBC project and, and uh, accessing the data that they need. So what do we use Trimble Business Center for at RH? So we really only use it to process and adjust static GNSS networks and to manage our raw data. So RTK, RTN vectors and total station vectors and occasionally a little bit of leveling data. We do that in Trimble Business Center. Um, we do not use it uh, for photogrammetry or, uh, you know, construction takeoffs, you know, calculating volumes. We don't use the roads module. Uh, so there's a bunch of things in Trimble Business Center that we don't use. Um, and, and that's primarily because we don't do a lot of construction. We do use the point cloud module in Trimble Business Center, although we have a Trimble RealWorks license um, and we use some other other point cloud software like uh, Cloud Compare, uh, which is an open source tool. Uh, but we do occasionally do some some very basic stuff on on a small project with uh, with the point cloud module in Trimble Business Center. Okay, so that's how we're using Trimble Business Center. It's mainly for geodetic, geodetic surveying, geodetic survey control, and uh, raw data management. Um, so all my videos are going to be from that perspective or, or from that use case. Uh, if you're using Trimble Business Center for different things, then uh, what I'm going to show you and teach you in these videos may not apply to you and your organization. So just you know, take what I say with a grain of salt. Okay, so how do you want to set up your user interface? Um, so when you open Triple Business Center, you're going to get uh, what they call the plan view should be default. And that's just like your top down view, like in, in CAD. Um, then you have your what they call your ribbon here. There's no more menu, but they have a ribbon and they've got this a little standard toolbar up here. Um, you can click some other things if you want. So this is what they call this, I think, the quick access toolbar. And then this is your main ribbon. And then down here, they have this little task bar, uh, which got some icons down here. You can turn your grid on and off. Oh, by the way, I hate the grid, but you can turn that on and off. You can get to your snap settings. It tells you here, I'm in my units are US survey foot. I'm in grid. I'm in California zone four in this project. This right here is really important. Uh, this will, will pull up your flags pane, which allows you to see your errors. And I almost always have this open. So, uh, but it's right there on the task bar. And it'll, it'll let you see all of your errors. We'll do another video that that just talks about, you know, what do you do with your flags? But I usually keep that open. 
Uh, the other thing I like to have open is my Project Explorer, uh, which is right here on the home page. So this is like Windows Explorer a little bit. So it's going to give you a, uh, what we what programmers call a tree view. It's going to give you a tree view so you can see all your imported files and all your points. Super, super helpful management, project management tool here, um, at least at least for your raw data and your field surveys. So I like to keep that open, the Project Explorer, uh, just on the home tab of the ribbon. You can turn it on and off, but I like to leave it open. Uh, the other thing I like to leave open is my Properties dialog because I use that a lot. So if you just right click on a point, you can pull up your Properties dialog. I have that docked here. You can also dock it over here. I actually like it docked. I don't know why I can't get it to dock over here. Yeah, I have, I'm just having trouble getting it to dock over there. Oh man, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna have it super messed up. Oh, so don't do what I just did. Let's see, can we let's see. Let me pause this and see if I can fix that now. Alright, I don't know why I can't get it docked on the right side, but that's okay. It works on the left side too. <clears throat> okay, so I like to leave these two open. And you can adjust this um, as you need to. Um, now the other thing. So these are like uh, dialog boxes or panes, uh, but they also have these views, which are kind of like tabs in, in your AutoCAD. And um, I don't leave this up all the time, but it's uh, helpful sometimes to have your occupation tab up. So this shows you all your occupations and you can do the same thing for your, I don't have any total station observations, but if you did, you could leave that open. Um, and then you can just tab between these. So that is sometimes helpful. So you could leave those up. So this is basically my default, the way I like to have Trimble Business Center, uh, Trimble Business Center set up. This is kind of my default. Uh, you can set it up the way you like, but this is kind of the standard way I like to have it set up. Uh, so I think that's about all I wanted to show you in this video. We'll keep it short. Um, in the next video, what I want to do is just explain uh, how TBC can assign multiple coordinates to a single point, which is very confusing if you're coming from different software. And I'll talk a little bit about uh, what do you do with those multiple coordinate values and um, how to use a point derivation report and when, when it's appropriate to merge points. Okay, so we'll talk about that in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.